have a little prototype of a creation of my own that I'd like to show you. Uh, what I did is I made a, a power bike lift. I have this pulley system here to lift my bike to the rafters and it is some pulling that is involved uh, and this is just an attempt to make it a little easier. I'll show you what I have here. I took a rectangular piece of wood and I drilled a hole in it all the way through with my lathe, excuse me, with my drill. And then I put it on the lathe and I turned it and I made a little handle here for myself and a spooling area. And then I drilled a hole in this end and I put a drill bit in there and epoxy glued it in. Now this is my beta version. My next one, I'm going to make a steep incline here and the spool's gonna dip down because the only problem I've had with this is sometimes the string wants to run over into the handle or too far this way. To show you how I do it now, <coughs> I take this drill bit and put it into my drill driver. There we go. Then I take it and I take my spooler twine on low speed. I don't want to go too fast with this. And it has a little bit more torque and that's what I need. So after I get this on here, I'll hold this, and to get it started, I just need to hold it like that, and then I'm going to turn it very slowly. stop it right there and you can see it lifts and I've got a lot of wobbling here going on and I'm trying to think of another way to get this to be a little bit more stable. You have to keep your eyes here so you can't watch it, what's going there but um, it is an easy way to lift. You can see there we go. I got it as high as I want to go back here and lock and then I can release it from the drill itself and then this whole thing can be put away I can attach it here on the wall and hide this little thing away up here until I want to bring it down again for some of you who are struggling I have a tricycle here it's a lot heavier and what I'm planning to do in my next version is put a little axle coming out on the handle side and see if I can put it into a hole on my rack and then everything's very stable and then I can just go up and down easily. So, so what I've done now is I've taken and drilled a drill hole into the other side of my spindle and then I went in with this bit and it tapped in the wood a thread. Now that thread I can now take this stuff's cheap it's at Home Depot and you buy it like 36 inch pieces and then I can thread it and screw it in here and as I'm screwing it in when it gets to a point where I think I threaded it only about that far And I can thread it in until it gets real tight. And then I have two nuts, and I can put these nuts on this end. And I can use a wrench to tighten it down pretty good. Remember, all this is is an axle, a free-spinning axle, so I don't have to go super tight on it. So I've got those locked in like that. Now I'll just reach for my reason a little tighter. One one way and one the other. Now I should be able to turn. There we go. I'm turning the whole thing in there and I'm turning it so it's good and tight. Now I'm going to break these loose by going the opposite directions. There we go. I'll take them off. And I'm going to try using this little axle to give me support on one side of my spindle when I use my drill driver to lift it up. So we'll take a look at that in a moment. 
Okay, let's see what happens with this much heavier bicycle. You can see I have the axle going through a hole on this metal shelving material. Then I can just hold it with two hands here. Whoa, that's easy. Wow, that's a breeze. So you can see it's starting to spool over too far here. So I need to change the angle. There we go. And you can see I got to lift it up. It lifted it rather easily. And I'm really impressed because this bike is heavy and it's hard to lift. So it's locked in there. And, uh, so there's a beta version uh, of this using an axle on the other side. So I hope maybe this gives you some ideas. Uh, and if you know how to modify this in some way to make it more efficient, please uh, show me your results. Okay, thank you for watching.